can you tell us about the situation in South Sudan? Uh, thank you. First of all, my name, my name is Peter Munde Yakov, uh, Archbishop of Western Equatorial Internal Province and Bishop of Yambio. I've just arrived from Yambio a week ago to bring students to current college. The uh, situation in South Sudan is not good, completely as I can see it. And my first appeal is to international community and partners is to put pressure on our government to make peace. And the, the justice also must be there. Because what I've seen in South Sudan is there is feminine actually, people are dying from hunger. In my own uh, uh, province, we have a lot of displaced people. Displaced people in Yambio, about 5,000. And even in my own house and churches, in Catholic churches, there are so many people who have taken a refugee. They are now there for more than two months. So what I've seen is that there is no food at all. Because people already ran away from their, from their, their, from their homes because their homes were burned by the soldiers and they displaced the people. They looted all the goods. Some food which was left actually was destroyed all. But I've seen people hungry. Some can eat these uh, leaves, wild leaves, and some are dying, especially in Eastern Equatoria, whereby people can eat wild leaves and they die. Myself, it's very difficult. I can spend night without food. Sometimes two days, three days without food. Because there is no money in the country. And the price of things have gone up. Washing shop is up. You cannot buy even salt. You cannot afford to buy salt. Live up anything like clothes. It's just very, very difficult actually, for people to live. And people are dying silently from hunger. And then uh, there is no, uh, no education at all. The teachers can teach but no, no money. We thank Winwood Dinner because they are supporting uh, our schools. Now our teachers are there, they are teaching, they are training people, and they get a little salary. So we thank you, uh, the Winwood Dinner, for the, for the support that you give to us, and we call upon you to continue to support us in, in that. But otherwise, other schools completely, teachers can teach and they don't receive their salaries. Even the government have got five months now without receiving their salary, that's what I've seen. So things are difficult even for the government because some of them, they even have no money for their own consumption and then even for the offices. So that's what is happening only in my, in my state. But the other states are the most worst. The roads are not possible. So I came up by plane and the plane sometimes is full and then landing in Juba. From Juba you go by convoy to to Arua, then from Arua you come to, to Kampala. Archbishop, can you tell us how we can pray for you and the situation in Sudan? We really continue to ask you to continue to pray for us and to support us. You support us, you have been support us for many, 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 many years. You can support, especially, uh, people are dying from hunger. We need agriculture tools. We need seeds and we need even food for work. And also we call upon you, you have influence, you can influence, you can influence our government actually. You can influence your government so that they can put pressure on our government to make peace. Because the best thing for us will be when there is peace, there will be education, everything people will be free to cultivate and to, there is no freedom now. Even the men in the bush with the uniform, people are also afraid of them. Also, the, those who are also in the towns, people are afraid. People are traumatized, actually, they are traumatized. They have seen something that they have never seen. And there is a need also to support the church, they can, so that we can be able to train people, to help people with the trauma. Trauma, anything can make and people start running. So there is need for trauma healing works. And how can we pray for you? Well, uh, prayer is very important when you pray. Uh, God can do, can work through you. Pray for us and support us, like what I mentioned here. So that we can be able to help our people, support the church, so we can be able to support their people in education and also trauma healing workshops. Archbishop, 
May God bless you, may he watch over you, may he guide your steps, may he keep you safe, may he give you wisdom and grace both now and in the days to come. May you indeed be a father in God to your people and may you know the love and support of your brothers and sisters in Christ here in England uh, and especially in the Diocese of Salisbury. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.